Assassin's Creed Shadows has faced so much backlash because of all of its historical inaccuracies, from Yasuke to the banners within the game to even the music that is featured when Yasuke is in battle, but recently they had unveiled a new statue featuring the two protagonists on a destroyed Tory gate, and now Pure Arts is going to rework it after all of the massive backlash they faced. I have a few different things to show off, but before I get into the topic. If you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, obviously, Ubisoft is an absolutely behemoth of a company, and they can put so much money towards projects, and that goes for hiring people as well. We know that they are working with dollar store historians, like, of course, Thomas Lockley, who publishes books about Yasuke being the first black samurai, even though he was not a full-blown samurai. He was more like a retainer, and that has been documented multiple times throughout history, but he decided to ignore that little factoid because it wouldn't sell as many books. And of course, he has boasted about the sales going up because of Assassin's Creed Shadows reveals and gameplay trailers and teasers, but when it comes to the game in totality, it has been a nightmare for this company because they have made every wrong decision possible, and at this point, it seems that they are doing so intentionally, that they do not really care about historical accuracy. They do not care about respecting the legacies of the real-life people people that they have referenced within this game that they have used for their content. And it just seems they don't care about disrespecting Japanese gamers or even gamers in the West who do care about historical accuracies. And sure, Assassin's Creed has never been the most historically accurate series within video games, but they did always accurately represent the individuals that were in the game, like Cleopatra, George Washington, Leonardo da Vinci. Like, there are multiple historical figures that they did a pretty good job with based on the information that they had. Of course, there is some creative liberties there because it's not like we have actual, you know, records of in some cases, like Cleopatra, for instance, the way that she talked or the way that she acted for certain, but they did a pretty good job even though the series has had very fantastical elements that featured these characters. But now, of course, Pure Arts, the designer for the collector's Assassin's Creed Shadows figure that featured Yasuke and No Way on what happens to be a Tory one-legged gate, announced it is reworking the design the company posted to X. We recently released an insensitive design. We appreciate and have learned from the concerns brought to our attention, and we apologize for the harm this caused. It added, after reading and processing the feedback, we have immediately returned to the draw board and are currently reworking the design for the collector's Assassin's Creed Shadows, Yasuke, and Away. So, of course, this does not directly fall on Ubisoft because they have this company that's working with them. It does primarily, you know, fall onto Pure Arts, but at the same time, Ubisoft still gave them material, Ubisoft still gave them feedback, and we do not know exactly how interconnected this partnership is, but one would assume they had developers who were looking over it and greenlighting it or giving suggestions. That's typically the way that statues work, especially for a company of this caliber. Though, while they are doing this, um, I do not think that this is going to be a response that is taken super positively simply because this is just one of the many problems with this game. So, of course, we have this statue that features the Tory Gate that was damaged in the World War II devastation in Nagasaki. So, of course, that was going to upset Japanese gamers and just Japanese folks in general because there are no other one-legged Tory Gates. There were none that were intentionally designed this way. The only one in Japan is the one, again, that was damaged in the devastation in Nagasaki. We, of course, have the banners within the game that were actually found out to be from a 
Japanese reenactment group. And while Ubisoft said that they were going to remove them from the game, they are refusing to remove them from the collector's art books, probably because they're already printed. They don't want to spend the money. But if they were really dedicated to historical accuracy, they would scrap all those books and remake them with the proper images. We know that there is like hip hop music behind Yasuke when he's battling. Of course, it stems back to the conversation about Yasuke being a full-blown samurai within this. I mean, there are so many problems that people have. And yeah, sure, it is good that ultimately they are going to try to listen to customers because at the end of the day, this was an image and of course, what was supposed to be a statue that is very offensive to Japanese gamers. It is not something that is like, a joke in a video game that's offensive or that you could call tone deaf if you're a sensitive snowflake. It really pushes the boundaries of what is acceptable and should not, in my opinion, be on a statue. I, of course, have not called for them to remove this statue or to not put it into production. There were many Japanese gamers, though, who did, and now that's what they're doing. Is Ubisoft going to issue a response? Probably not. They want to put all of the blame on Pure Arts so that they can maybe face a little bit less backlash because right now they're facing major problems within the company. We know their stocks have tanked. There's rumors about them being bought by Tencent and the Guimau family and then being taken private. If that happens, all hope is lost for Ubisoft because Tencent is such a scummy company who predatorily monetizes their games and focuses on live service and of course, is a CCP entity, so that's not going to be a good situation, that's for sure. But we also have heard rumors circulating about this game that Shadows has only had about 7% of the pre-order numbers of Valhalla during the same time period. We just are hearing such negative things, and of course, that's all led up to the delay of Shadows to February 2025, so Ubisoft didn't even have their major hitter of the year. They probably were relying on Skull and Bones, X Defiant, and Star Wars Outlaws, thinking, oh my gosh, Star Wars Outlaws is going to be a mega hit because they put the most money towards the marketing budget that they ever have to Star Wars game, of course, Disney, not really a shocker there. But at the same time, that didn't work out for them. None of these plans worked out for them. So they probably were like, okay, this year's kind of a wash. Let's push it to next year and hopefully it will do well. But as we know, the internet never forgets. And even if you delay something by a few months, people are still going to be talking about it. People are still going to be upset with you over the decisions that you made. And I do not think that Assassin's Creed Shadows is going to do fantastic. I still think that it will do relatively well just because it is Assassin's Creed. There's a lot of brand recognition and brand loyalty there. I completely understand that. But on the flip side, I do not think that it is okay for Ubisoft to, you know, slap the faces of gamers and say, we do not care about your feedback. Though it seems that Pure Arts was facing quite a bit of backlash because they did decide to uh, rework this statue. I would be interested to see the direction that they go in. But of course, I will be keeping my eye on this, though that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon.